Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Meet the Actor. Today, I'm here with Kemel Hildrum. Pretty close. <laughs> Hildrum, but yeah, pretty close. I was going to go. I was going to go with the wire. I thought, is it a silent wire or not? <laughs> I've had a lot worse, so don't worry about it, Pete. Yeah. I've had a lot worse. <laughs> so, your first question for you today. How did you first get into acting? Um, I first started um, acting in my uncle's films, who was a writer. He was a novelist who started to take his hand at filmmaking. And he cast me in some of his early short films that he did. Um, and I got the bug from there. So the acting really started for me when I was about, I think I must have been about 13, 14. The acting bug really started. I mean, I did some things in school, but I was quite, I was quite a shy child in school. And I, didn't, I couldn't really, yeah, I couldn't really find my way in school very well. So it, when, when I was 13 years old, I got the first chance to, to be in a film with my, uh, that my uncle was making. That was the first real mm. little step. But then my uncle went off and got a real job, <laughs> became a barrister. And left me with the camera. So I then just started filming myself, doing monologues, mm -hmm. doing little short films um, of my own that I was acting in, always putting myself as a lead. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, and I, I kind of started from there. And then I went to college, studied it, um, got a couple of breaks, you know, a little bit of TV, TV work, a little bits and bobs of films. And then it just took off from there. But I've always had the bug for acting, yeah. always. So... What was your first role? Was the next question. So we're we're split this up for you. What okay. was your What was your first bit part, and what was your first? Well, hey, I've got a major part in something. <laughs> um, my first bit part. Hmm. I suppose the first one would have been for for my uncle. That was my first role that I did, and it was a it was kind of like it was a drama film based about teenage angst, and that was the first one that you know. It, kind of suited me down to the ground what was that called then, do you remember that was called silences i think it was called it was so long ago you talk, you know i'm i'm in my 40s you know this was years ago <laughs> totally forgot about that um but yeah i don't even think we even own a vhs of it anymore because back then we were shooting on um, yes the old camcorders yes, yes I, I remember those i'm i'm, I'm not that far, i'm not I'm not that far behind you <laughs> the, ones that would, the ones that would break your shoulder when yeah. you carried them you know we were, we were filming with those old cameras back then. Um, so I don't even know, I, I don't have an own, own a copy of that, so I don't. But I mean, lost my first, it's lost, yeah, lost to, the, lost to time, thank God. Probably a good thing. <laughs> um, but my first major role, I, that's, that's a strange one, because I've always kind of dipped my toe in act, uh, acting and filmmaking. Mm -hmm. my, my first role was actually a film, uh, a vampire film, that I shot in Lowestoft back in... The very early 90s yeah the, the vampire hotspot the vampire hotspot yeah and it was it was a great little indie <laughs> indie vampire film that was shot again i can't remember the title of it because it was so long ago and it was never officially officially released but that was my first major role where i took on a major character and i absolutely loved that experience mm -hmm. it just and from that moment i knew that i needed to forge my way into it to, to filmmaking and acting in, in any way i could yeah and took it upon myself to, to, be, to learn the art of filmmaking so I could get more acting roles. I specifically went down that route, which would mean that I could get more acting roles because the acting world is a very tough world to break into. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, I've been lucky that I've had some really, really cool roles and been in some really cool films. Well, we'll get to those in a moment. I was going to say... <laughs> I'm jumping the gun, anyway. <laughs> How long have you been doing it? But you basically said you've been doing it since you're 13, so we'll change this question slightly to how long have you been doing it where you've... Uh, I've been getting the big money. Big money. Well, I can't say that I've had a role that's paid me very, very big money at the moment. But um, the ones that I've had most, you know, prestige with, and the, the, the I've probably, I'd say, for the last fifteen years, I've mm. I've been doing films that I think are credible, yep. films that I think um, hold their own in mm. in the market. Um, yeah, so probably about fifteen years. Yeah. Okay. Quite so that, now, now we can go on to the question you wa you wanted to answer just a minute ago, which was, what have you worked on, currently working on, or plan to work on, which is probably not a lot at the moment, acting wise, because of what's going yeah. on. But yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I've been lucky enough to work with some great filmmakers. I mean, I've worked 
I worked on a film called Malady, mm-hmm. where, where I was the the male lead in that, and that was a very dark art house type type drama. I don't know if you've seen that one. Yeah, that's the one you sent me. Uh, Malady. Mm-hmm. Right. Did I send you that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I've sent you so much over the time. I can't remember what. I've uh, but yeah, Malady was was a film uh, written, produced, and directed by Jack James. Um, where I played a male leader. It was a very dark, an extremely dark character to play. And that's kind of what drew me to it. Because when I, when I look for characters, I usually look for characters that have that darker edge to them. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's the way I look, but I usually get cast as that type of character anyway. <laughs> if I'm not a drug dealer, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm a killer of some sort. So um, when this character landed on my lap and the director actually wrote it, wrote the script mm. with, with me in, in mind, that was a really, really, um, you know, it was a really big, big thing for me because the character was so well developed, and and, mm-hmm. and I actually had a ball um, watching that film. Uh, sorry, uh, acting in that film, and being a part of it. Um, I've also worked with um, a chap called Jason MP, which I think you know. Yep, Jason MP. I, I've I've worked on a n- number of his films, and he's a crazy filmmaker, and I absolutely mm-hmm. adore him, and love working on his stuff. Um, and it's really good to see him getting so much success at the moment with his film that he's just released his documentary because it's been his pet pet project for yep, so long. The Vipco one. Yeah, the Vipco one. Have you yeah. had a chance to see it? I have seen it, yeah. He sent me an early yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah, he's done a cracking <laughs> job with it. And I mean, I'm, I'm all, all into that genre as well. So yep. for me, it was just like fanboy watching it. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's done a cracking job with that. So I've worked with him. I have worked with him on, I think, maybe five or six feature films that we did mm-hmm. together various roles i was either dop or i was acting yeah. as a lead in his films and, and he's he's a cr- cracking guy to work with he's, he's so out there zany and he's so knowledgeable about the exploitation cinema mm-hmm. that he's emulating in his films so it's always great to work with him um i work very closely with a very close friend and collaborator called mole smith mm-hmm. and i've been in well, i think i've been in the, all of his films well, pretty much all of his films for the last five or six years. Yeah, um, I was trying to remember. Was you film. in Seance? It, no, not you, Seance. That was no. that was Dominic, who actually yeah. a lot of people uh, confuse us. <laughs> Me and Dominic, they think we look a little bit the same. Um, Mo must have a type of, of male actor that he cast. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was in the Lorelei, which I really. Yep. I started off in a short film first, and then I worked. Uh, and then I was one of the main leads in the Lorelei. Mm-hmm. which was a fantastic experience because the, the actors that he kind of all got around the project and the way him and his partner Leslie tackled the project was really interesting. And it was really, again, it was a dark character. It was a troubled character and yeah. it's alcoholic. So it was really right up my street to kind of explore those themes. So he's another filmmaker that I love working with and, and will probably will continue to work with. I'm also talking to another chap at the moment where I'm very interested in a role that he's just offered me. Again, it's a very dark, brooding, kind of menacing character, which I'm kind of looking forward to tackling. So, yeah, I mean, there's loads in the pipeline. It's when lockdown ends, hopefully, yes. we can get out there and yeah. get back to it. Because we're all so thirsty and hungry to get back into the acting and the filmmaking, mm. which is good because it'll give you more films to review. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have plenty to review, yeah. So, this comes up with a multitude of answers to this question. What advice do you have for upcoming actors and people wanting to get into the film industry? And don't say don't. Uh, no, I'd never say that. I'd never say that. I'm a big advocate for supporting the younger generation mm-hmm. of actors that are coming through. And, and, and for me, it's really, really, really important that we, we push as many young actors forward to come, yep. you know, to come forward and break in. And one of the ways you can do it as an actor now, in my opinion, is to multitask. Learn, learn, not, not necessarily learn the whole craft of acting, but understand how a film is made. Yeah. So understanding the writing process for an actor, I think is the most key, key mm. uh, critical point. If, if a writer, sorry, if an actor teaches himself or learn or, or already can do, can do uh, writing that is a very big in when it comes to acting because you can write and create characters for yourself yep. and nowadays i mean we've got so much technology in front of us just you know in our hands with our phones mm-hmm. that we can, we can even record you know record little pieces of ourselves that can get that out there like monologues and little scenes that you can film yourself yeah 
in order to put yourself out there. And there's sort of networking. Networking is the biggest thing when it comes to this industry. You have to network and you have to network hard. You have to hustle. Acting is a hustler, hustler's game. You've got to be hustling for that next role. Mm-hmm. So reach out to filmmakers, put yourself out there and really work on your show reels. Cause I've seen, because I'm also a filmmaker, I've seen thousands and thousands of show reels. So you have to grab someone in the first 20 seconds, yeah. if not quicker with your show reel. So really work on those show reels and just keep pushing. Never stop. When someone says to you, you're not right for this role, move on, get onto that next role, find that next role. Um, and just know that there's a role for everyone. This, you know, it's quite an elitist, you know, industry sometimes where only certain people get certain roles and you get yeah. certain your heads up, become famous and blah, blah. But it doesn't mean that there's not acting out there. There is acting work out there. You've just got to keep going, keep pushing, keep believing in yourself. And also know yourself as an actor. So I'm not saying that an actor has to pigeonhole themselves, but know your strengths as an actor and, and gear your strengths towards the kind of characters that you try and portray or, or, or go for when you're trying to audition. Um, yeah. So I yeah. think that's, cause I could go on about this quite a lot because obviously I'm too yeah. edited. I'm a, I'm a filmmaker and a, an actor. So I could go out go out for a long time, but really the, the main thing is believe in yourself and keep going. Well, before we get to your final question, did you want to talk about your film that you are starring in? We won't talk about the filmmaking one because we'll do that in the other interview, but did you want to talk about your upcoming film? Yeah, um, uh, the latest film that I've just acted in um, called Wastelands um, was a pet project of my own, but it's the kind of character that I, I really want to to play going forward and not not the same kind of character but the themes of the film were were massively important to me as an actor and that's why i wrote it because i specifically wrote the character of tris in wastelands because there's certain aspects of tris's characteristics that i wanted to to um, to explore as an actor Mm -hmm. um so wastelands is is complete now Um, we're just waiting for the festival circuit to really open up (laughs) we've entered I think we've entered about 40 or 50 festivals, but we've played it clever and we've, we've played it for the end of the year and yeah. beginning of next year. Cause obviously at the moment it's all a bit mm-hmm. up in the air. I don't really know what's happening, but so yeah, hopefully that will go well. We're on, we're on the search for a distributor for that now. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've got an acting role coming up with Mole Smith, which I'm really looking forward to in a couple of weeks, which, which is a really cool. He's given me this kind of old, it reminds me of a hammer horror type character. Right. It's, it's an old caretaker of a hall when it, you know and it, he so it's a really cool little role it kind of reminds me of the old um, right this amicus type stories that's what i was going i, I, I had yeah, like so that really, Peter that, kind of going in my head then yeah yeah definitely 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 that's that's kind of in my head the way i want to tackle it you know mm-hmm. I'm, I'm definitely not as gifted as uh, peter cushing because he's one of my favorite actors all time, <laughs> but yeah I'll do my best. I'll do my best. But I'm really looking forward to it because it's a great little script. So it's a great cast as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So there's, that there's loads in the pipeline. Is that a short film or is that a... That is a short film, but it's, it's a short film that's going to go as an anthology. Oh, right, okay. Because yeah. he's working on a, a, an anthology type film at the moment. So it's going to sit somewhere in that anthology. So yeah, oh. look out for that. Okay. And what the... Uh, what the what the f it's called <laughs> well if you know Paul Smith, what? you'll get it <laughs> yeah so your last one for this one anyway is promote yourself so if you have a website a youtube channel uh social media wherever you want people to come and stalk you not in real life then um <laughs> sell yourself um yeah well if anyone's interested in my work they can go to my site which is chemicalfilms.net or they can go to my Facebook, type in my name, Kamal Yildrim, mm-hmm. uh, which you can see at the bottom of the screen there, because <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> difficult to spell. Twitter, same handle. Um, yeah, and if you're interested, obviously there's IMDb that, that also has a reference to the films that I'm working on and have worked on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, thank you for coming on, having this uh, very brief much. interview. I will uh, be talking to you again very, very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for having me, mate.